All right, so uh, welcome out. Um, we're very excited to be here for uh, the rookie phase of this mini camp here. Um, you know, we got I got a little bit of an introduction today with meetings and uh, with a walkthrough. We have a practice this afternoon where the players can wear helmets, and that's uh, that's it. The other jerseys on, no pads. Um, but again, uh, it looks like a good crew, and I probably have more to tell you after after I see them this afternoon. But for what I saw this morning, it was all good. Time's yours. All right, Coach, I'll get right into it. Sure. Um, Tyreek Hill, something else that occurred to me. I'm curious, and you know, we've been able to do more important since last Saturday. Uh, number one thing I'm thinking is, would, would you guys have felt comfortable making that selection had you not spoken to the district attorney, the prosecutor, who, who mentioned that they consulted with the victim on the plea? Yeah, listen, I, I think, um, I, I believe it, it's important that you, you do your homework. Every situation is different. Um, I, I know Doris and his guys did that. I, I really wasn't involved in that part of it. Uh, but I know every possible stone that they could overturn, they, they did. Um, and, and so w within that, um, along with the part that I mentioned after the draft, that, that the young man's trying to do the right things, whether it's with counseling, you know, wh whatever it is, he's trying to do the right things. Uh, to better himself. So I, I think all those go into the evaluation. Everyone's different, every situation. And, Andy, have there ever been times when you've talked to a kid, you communicated with a kid, and like all the background says he's doing the right stuff, but then you meet the guy and you just say, I don't know if I feel comfortable. I don't know if he gets that. Has that happened to you before? Well, that's one reason we, we brought him up here. Um, uh, yeah, normally uh, you want to make that part of the homework. <laughs> the, the, uh, part of the equation there. So, um, you know, we brought him up here and had a chance to uh, meet him and have him kind of mingle around. The players were here, our players were here at that time. So, um, I, I think that was a positive thing. I, I know you give people second chances, but I, I am curious. Have you vetoed guys before just because you didn't feel the belief that they that they were changing? Have you done that before? Yeah, sure. I mean, there are people okay. that you, um, yeah, that you've done that with. Yeah. The uh, rookie symposium is gone by the league. Are you planning uh, extra classroom time with these guys on those kinds yeah, of things? Uh, yeah, well, that, that falls under BJ's area there, and he, he does that. Um, and the league has a plan for it um, uh, for the guys that are, are you know in the player engagement program. So uh, throughout the league, and um, you know, BJ will do a good, good job with that part. But scheduling wise, that'll come after the veteran minicamp? Yeah, um, yes. Andy, back to Hill for a second. I mean, you, all, you guys obviously liked him as a player. What, what did you see in him as a player that would lead you to pick him in the fifth round? Yeah, so, um, I mean, he's an explosive athlete. Um, obviously, he's got return ability. Um, uh, you know, he, he's had success as a player, I mean, uh, when, he, when he's been on the field. Um, and and that's, uh, that, that's what enticed uh, you know, uh, us looking at him. So. Were you is surprised? The worth the, is the risk worth the reward for drafting him? Yeah. So l listen, I'm I'm not much on the crystal ball and looking into the future. I, I'm we, we do enough homework where we feel that um, you know he's headed in the right direction and and deserves a second chance. So and I'm not here. I'm, listen, I understand the situation. I've been involved with it for a number of years uh, with my wife and our charity. So I. I've seen different uh, um, situations, um, and I'm not here to judge. I mean, that's not you know, that's I'm not the Almighty. I'm not saying that at all by any means. Uh, but um, from what we from what we gathered, um, and we tried to be as thorough as we could with it, we, we felt that that you know he deserved an opportunity. So, uh, and I guess the reason why I asked that because with all the negative blowback that you gotten from it, almost feels as though he has to make the team. Otherwise, it becomes a waste. Of draft yeah, paper. no, I don't. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I think, uh, you know, he, he he's got to, you know, he's got to keep doing the right things. And he's got to go play football. He's got to do that part. Um, and and those all become, you know, parts of, of the whole there. So, um, you know, he still has to make the team. I mean, he's not like anybody else. He's not guaranteed a position at all. 
that's how that's how it goes. Yeah, and it was it comes to hiring the judgment that you seem to have taken for the past week. People saying not in Kansas City and not willing to give this young man a second chance. I, Is that kind of a little old? No, no, no. Uh, listen, I completely understand, man. I'm sensitive to the situation, so I, I get it. I mean, I, um, I, I've talked to uh, women on the other side of this. I mean, I, I, on the other uh, on the other side, the receiving side, and so um, I'm very sensitive to that. You know, a, a lot of guys don't try to right the wrong, and so I, I give the kid credit for doing that, and he, he's really working hard at that. So, I, so I, I completely understand the other side. So there's no, there's been, the, I guess the amount of discussion, right? The amount of, uh, I guess second guessing hasn't surprised you at all. I mean, you guys, did you guys know that that amount was coming? Well, yeah, because not everybody had. I mean, we had the benefit of doing all the homework. I mean, I, listen, not everybody had the whole story I mean and then you guys have had time now to kind of follow up on it and um, so I, I listen I understand I get it I mean I got it Coach, Andy the only I'm sorry Andy the only thing the only reason I asked is because you mentioned your wife that's it um, but you mentioned she's done like a lot of domestic violence help like she's really big into that so the only reason I asked is I'm curious to know what she thought I mean did you I'm sure yeah. she heard I mean, what, what yeah, was her I mean, take? the counseling was a big part of it okay. is he willing to go and do that that, that's a that's a huge that step is huge to actually admit admit that you are wrong I mean a lot of people won't do that I mean they just won't go there and then on top of that um, you know to try to fix yourself and, and make it right uh, and so I mean to her those were valuable valuable steps you know? and, and is there anything you guys can do to give this guy more support I mean you guys you guys do a lot I mean, for kids and, and you protect rookies but like does he have to get more and just what what are you yeah. gonna do for him? it's not protecting him okay it's not protecting him it's uh, teaching him so he'll continue to uh, receive counseling and, and that so it, it's a uh, it'll be ongoing and, and, um, and he's got the right frame of mind with that so we've got people here uh, support group um, uh, they can help him out there. Right, Coach, this, more guys. Coach, this weekend compared to any other weekend that you have with the rookies, you talk about teaching you and your staff. Just what's unique about this weekend, getting the guys out on the field and teaching them the schemes? Yeah, um, it's a clean slate. So these, these guys, you're up there and you're installing, and uh, where you're in your fourth year with the other guys, um, uh, this group here, they're hearing it for the first time. So every little step in detail, you better have covered. And um, it's not all going to go in the first time. And we're throwing a lot at them to digest, but it, it's a nice challenge for them. Yeah, and that, that's the exciting part. I will go by Adam, and then we'll finish with Sorry, we got to okay. All right, let's go. Well, you, you alluded to Michael Vick a little bit last week. And obviously, this is not a perfect parallel at all, but, but I, I wonder if you, just looking back at that, if you can describe why, why you felt strongly that could work and what you could do for him and what you asked of him. I guess. Yeah, well, Michael kind of did that same thing. He, he, when he got out of jail, he, he, he worked and tried to you know, head in the right direction. Um, he faced uh, the people that, that were really scrutinizing him and tried to help them the best he could, understanding that, I mean, listen, he did a wrong like this, it, it, it's been done. And so now where do I go? So try to help out and make it the best he could, and I thought he did that. Dave, is, it, is there a bottom, some, some line that precludes somebody being drafted? I, I know we think uh, that this, yeah. I know we think that going forward the young man might do well, but sure. But well, the I think, past is the past. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yes. So I, I think it comes back to the question of you know, there have been people that we didn't draft. Uh, so I mean, there are. I mean, there are situations that you you don't feel comfortable with. You, you got to dig in and do your homework. And our guys do that. They do that on every player. They exhaust. They try to exhaust it on everyone. Not everyone uh, you feel as comfortable. And I'm not even sure comfortable is the word, but that you feel uh, worthy of bringing in and giving them an opportunity. Last one, Adam. Andy, uh, with Kevin Hogan in now. You got three younger developmental type quarterbacks. Are you going to have enough snap snaps to sort through that the way you need to between now and September? I think we will. Yeah, I, I think we'll be okay there. Um, one nice thing is they, they've all got. A uh, good head on their shoulders, so they're smart guys, and um, um, you know I think we'll be okay there. All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.